Hey guys, today is uh, February 2nd. Uh, yeah, I know I skipped the day because uh, there was really nothing going on yesterday. Um, but anyways, today we're going to be heading up to the grocery store and do some shopping up there. Do some filming in there so you guys can see what the price of groceries are here. Uh, so yeah, we're at the uh, grocery store right now. Uh, we're in what's called Hypermart, and uh, yes, it's inside the mall here. I call it uh, the Super Walmart of the Philippines. Uh, those from the states, maybe those around, know what a Walmart is. They pretty much sell everything, and uh, they pretty do much uh, sell everything here. So yeah, I'm gonna do a little, uh, show you guys some of the prices here, and uh, so you can see what the cost of groceries run here in the Philippines. All right, guys, as you can see, when I said they pretty much have everything here, well, they pretty much do. Uh, take a stroll down here, you can see. Clothing items, kid items, shoes. Uh, cooking stuff is down here. Kitchen stuff is down here. They sell refrigerators, they sell microwaves, they sell fans, uh, they sell toys. Uh, electronics, they sell electronics. Um, like I said, pretty much, pretty much everything you could find at a Walmart, they, uh, they will sell here. They sell furniture items here. Couches, end tables, coffee tables, beds. Kitchen sets. All right, hey guys, uh, I guess you're probably saying, hey, what happened to the grocery store? What happened? I thought you were gonna show us some, uh, you know, the prices of the groceries and everything like that. I'll tell you what happened. Philly and the Philippine production crew, which consists of the camera guy, me, the audio guy, me, the uh, editing guy, me, well, we got shut down. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just turned off the camera. That last scene you seen, that uh, that last scene that you guys just seen, and I heard this. Excuse me, sir. So I turned around, and there was one security guard, uniform security guard, and two plainclothes security guards. They had little microphones in their ear and the little walkie-talkies. And they said, "Sir, it's against policy to film." inside the store and I said oh why they said well that's just our policy you're not allowed to film I mean they were very friendly very nice so uh, yeah I shut it down and uh, that was the end of that but yeah it was funny because when I did shut it down I started putting things back in my bag and uh, I started walking around and as I was walking I noticed there was a couple uh, uh, security guards uh, wearing their white uniforms were following me for a little while but uh, yeah you can't film inside the grocery store so uh, that's what happened there but uh, anyways so uh, that's why you guys aren't seeing uh, any more of the grocery store but uh, anyways I wanted to just show you here I mean some of the things we got and uh, you know give you a, a total of, of you know what we spent. I mean, we got you know the usual snacks. Uh, Lodi's putting stuff away. Got some cereal, some popcorn, oils, uh, elbow macaroni and cheeses, uh, the peanut butter. You know, let's see, <clears throat> the Miracle Whip. A lot of these name brands that you you know that you get in the states, like the Miracle Whip, uh, the Jif peanut butter. Uh, what else was there? The Concord grape jelly. The name brands that you would find in the United States, you tend to pay a little more for them because they're imported items. Um, but there's just certain things that I, I do, you know, I, I crave. And those are just certain things that I want. Um, but yeah, I mean, we got spaghettis. Got some, oh, some beans. I got some syrup. Uh, we grabbed some fruits. Um, 
toilet papers, uh, paper towels, uh, a lot of things that you know that we that, you know you only shop maybe once uh, every two or three months. You know, like uh, you got a couple toothbrushes, uh, dish soap, laundry stuff, a um, couple you know a couple spices, things like that. Um, you know, like I said, that you might only pick up once every few months. Um, but yeah, that uh, I wish I could have really showed you guys, you know, the prices of things in the grocery store. You know, that way you you know could could compare them to uh, you know the prices where you know where you're from. But anyways, we we shopped and oh, our whole bill came to. Let me get the uh, slip here. Came to. 5,744 pesos, which came to, how much was that U.S.? 114 and 88 cents. 114 U.S. dollars and some, some change. Um, I know from shopping back in the States um, for all those years, and I know when we were shopping, you know, what, what that would usually run us, and a bill like this would have ran us, you know, probably 200 if not more. So uh, yeah, that was our price of our little shopping excursion. Um, you know, th there are some things that uh, kind of blows my mind here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's what happened. Buddy, buddy, fight on the set. Fight on the set. And action. <laughs> Anyways, guys. Yeah, like I said, there's, uh, there's just some things here that kind of just puzzle me. Uh, let me give you an example. Um, if you're on your motorbike and you want to pass somebody on the left-hand side with oncoming traffic, you just do it. Uh, if you want to hop up on the sidewalk and pass somebody, you just kind of do it. Uh, if you want to do a U-turn, where a sign is posted that says no U-turn, you just kind of do it. If you want to jaywalk where a sign says no jaywalking, you just kind of do it. All this while police, security, standing right there, sitting right there, or might even be uh, in their vehicle, and they watch it and do absolutely nothing about it. <laughs> I mean, it is what it is. Um, we are, and I am a visitor here, so, you know, just, like I said, you know, you, you show respect to the people, you show respect to, you know, people that are in charge, and, and, you know, they don't bother you. You know, you start getting loud and getting mad and getting angry and yelling and stuff, you know, they, of course, you know, they're going to, you know, they're going to do what they got to do. I mean, technically, they, they could have taken my camera, they could have taken me in the back, they could have gave me a fine. Um, I didn't see anything that says no video recording, but, you know, it's their policy. Um, but yeah, you're not going to, like I said, you ain't going to scream, you ain't going to yell, you're not going to say, hey, you know, you're offending me and I'm going to sue this company. It, it, it doesn't happen here. Um, though, I, I tell you what, though, I was up on Clark, uh, up in Clark there in the Freeport zone a couple of years ago, and I actually did a U-turn in an area and there was nobody around. Um, I didn't see any signs that said no U-turn, but it was all the way over in the corner. It was kind of hidden. And I did get pulled over, and I was told that it was a moving violation, and uh, it was going to cost me, oh, like five, 500 pesos, give or take. Um, I did ask. I said, okay, well, how does this work? Do I send that in? What do I do? The officer said, no, you just, you just pay me. So I knew that was going into his pocket, but uh, yeah. Anyways, um, fun stuff here. Gotta love it. Alright guys, so we just got water delivered today. And I can tell you exactly how much we pay for that. And what they do is they have these water purification uh, buildings set up different places. And you call them and they'll actually bring it to your house and deliver it. Uh, you can see there's a seal there on the spigot. Seal up top and a seal on the back uh, it says refuse if the seal is broken but anyways uh, we'll, we'll drink maybe one of these every week or so give or take it all depends but anyways we paid a whopping 30 pesos 
less than oh I don't know what the conversion to that is either way less than a dollar for this all right all right guys I guess I'm gonna call it a wrap um, actually hang on there now I can see all right I guess I'm just gonna call it a wrap for the night um, I do want to say to you guys you know what thank you so much for all the words of uh, encouragement and uh, the kind words you guys are you know giving me uh, with this new little series I'm doing about the simple life here um, as you can see you know every day brings a new challenge there's always something here um, but yeah tomorrow uh, got a few things planned um, I'll be videotaping hopefully I won't uh, have to shut down production but um, anyways guys if you haven't subscribed yet uh, make sure you subscribe like dislike share with your friends um, Remember guys, uh, it's more fun in the Philippines, and in some days, it's even more uh, challenging here in the Philippines. Alright guys, we'll talk to you later.